Hello everyone, so we are from the group 3 and this is our video presentation for the proper restraining and handling techniques in mouse. Understanding the proper restraint and handling techniques are important in working especially in the laboratory animals. The researcher must possess a deep understanding of the behavior and responses of each to a different stimuli. So here are the objectives of this video presentation. First is to assist laboratory animal researchers in partially complying with the Animal Welfare Act. Second is to provide basic concepts of animal handling and restraint. Third is to minimize laboratory animal distress and discomfort. And last is to minimize animal as well as human injury in scientific procedures using the animals. So here are the proper handling and restraining performed during the laboratory activity. First is the picking up the tail. This is commonly used in transferring one mouse for a short distance that will require less than 2-3 to three seconds to complete. By this, uh, first grip the mouse by the base of its tail, lift it up and carry to the new destination. Note that you do not have to use this technique on obese or pregnant mouse. The next technique is the cupping. Cup or scoop the mouse or a small group of mice onto the gloved hands, then loosely close the hands around the animals. This procedure is suitable for docile, well habituated to handling animals, for experienced handlers with a confident approach. It is preferred for transferring mice over a longer distance. And for the last technique we perform, it is the V or the claw hold. Grasp the rat's tail with the dominant hand and pull back gently as in the mouse. Then place the rat's head between the V formed by your non-dominant hand's index and the third fingers. And then place the thumb under the forearm and the other fingers under the opposite forearm to support the chest. Support the tail and the body with the other hand. A proper and gentle approach is advisable to minimize the stress of the animals and reduce the risk of bite injuries to the handler. As most rodents will attempt to bite when handled improperly and the wounds they inflict can be painful and prone to the infections. To avoid being beaten, it is important to keep the animals aware of its handler's presence before the first attempt at restraining them.